Panthers have had two big stops in the red zone, holding the Browns to field goals. Can they get another when they desperately need it? Third and four. Punt. Boy, breaking the initial tackle. Just trying to get back to the line of scrimmage. Frankie Louvu was there for Carolina. And also Henry Anderson. It's a loss of a yard. Anderson, whom they just signed about a week ago after he was released by New England and now fourth and five here as we're going to have an injury timeout looks like it's Brian Burns the injured Panther as he will be helped to his feet yeah nice run blitz there by Frankie Louvu coming in there getting the initial penetration in the hit that really stopped the play and you know now your young rookie kicker in his first game he's made a couple of nice kicks here's his first pressure kick of his career Young man who's already achieving rock star status in Cleveland with some of those preseason kicks. Well, let's slow down a little bit. It's preseason. <laughs> <laughs> These are the ones that matter, Spiro. A little too early. That's right. He's got a 70 yarder. He's got a live leg, that's for sure. During warm ups in a preseason game. But this is when you start to feel those butterflies. 36 yarder. You know he's got the leg. Can he calm those emotions? And build on their lead. Long snapper is Hewlett. Bojorquez is the holder. Running that play clock down. Operation Sound and York. Perfect. They just have lacked the success on the first couple downs to do that throughout the game. Mayfield backpedaling wide open is his man Anderson Baker with a home run bomb 75 yards and here comes Carolina Spiro, if you want to throw the ball deep, you need to have good protection time for your quarterback. They have not had it this year in this game. Baker with plenty of time there. And Anderson gets behind the defense. The one thing the Browns couldn't do defensively, allow a big score, quick score. Baker takes advantage. There's so much talk of Anderson's struggles last year on the heels of that big contract he got. Had the worst statistical season of his career. How does Brissett in this offense now respond as they begin at the 25-yard line? More play action from Brissett. Throws in the run. Completes to Najoku. Penalty marker thrown back. Just beyond the line of scrimmage. It's a pickup of five, but this one could be coming back. I think it is. I think you see a legal man downfield on the Browns. Ineligible player downfield. Offense number 66. The five-yard penalty. First down. It's James Hudson, the second year tackle, watch. starting in place of Conklin. Yeah, watch the right tackle. As Brissett rolls out, he's coming here, and now he's kind of coming down. He gets a block, and now he's four or five yards downfield. You know, that was a nice play by the Browns. Roll Jacoby out, get a nice completion, and it comes back, and now you're behind the sticks. First and 15 after the penalty. Brissett. This is Bryant. Tackled right after the catch, so they get eight yards right back. Officials will mark this one down right around the 28 yard line. Second and seven. And now Jacoby Brissett. Again, just about a month since they handed the reins to this offense to him. The Watson suspension. Only one preseason game under his belt with his new team. New city, new coaching staff. No reason you can't run the ball here. You've had so much tremendous success. Three tight ends here. Back to the ground. This is Chubb. Gets to the 30. And this is going to set up a massive third down for Cleveland. Inside of five minutes, 444 and a clock rolling right here. 
Carolina got the touchdown on the first play. If they could get the ball back right here, man, they're feeling great about themselves. Late substitution is Henry Anderson scurrying onto the field for the Panthers. See what they've done on third down, third and four from just outside the 30. Brissett throws over the middle, it's caught. Donovan Peoples-Jones, first down Cleveland. I like what Jacoby did in the pocket here, and then watch the catch again. Another tough catch by Donovan Peoples-Jones going down to get the ball. There's Jacoby slide in the pocket. Mm. Really good job by his receiver. Eighth time that Peoples Jones has been targeted. Four catches, 42 yards. And that gets them a fresh set of downs. And they can continue to run that clock. Now you got to start to think about timeouts here if you're Carolina. Three apiece plus the two minute warning. Chubb dances. Just beyond the line of scrimmage. With some more precious ticks coming off the clock. You're, you're down two, so a field goal wins it. So you're trying to get the ball back here. First and foremost, you got to get the stop. But trying to get the ball back with enough time to get into field goal range. If I'm Cleveland, I continue to run the ball. you you got to stop me. If you're Carolina, you're Phil Snow, you're trying to sell out to stop the run, make Jacoby beat you with his arm. Ten guys within five yards of the ball for Carolina. Play action. Brissett putting some air under it. Incomplete for Cooper. We'll check the flag here. J.C. Horn was in the vicinity. Prior to the pass. Holding. Defense. Number eight. Five-yard penalty. Automatic. First down. Killer. Yeah, brutal penalty, but it's the right call. Is Amari makes his cut. You're going to see J.C. Horn on him right here. He goes inside, just kind of grabs him. There's the grab right there, and then he falls down. And because of that, they're going to call that. Second defensive hold today against J.C. Horn. So Amari Cooper, who has not had a big statistical Browns debut, has done his job drawing some of these penalties. And a big P.I. down to the one-yard line. 2.36 to play. First and ten after the penalty, Chubb, where you rarely see him get caught behind the line of scrimmage. Brought down that time by Anderson. Yeah, absolutely selling out to stop the run there. Timeout. Carolina, their first, the 32nd timeout. Panthers GM Scott Fitterer had been looking for an edge rusher, finally found him in Anderson. Signed earlier this week. Gives us a chance here to remind you to keep it here. The NFL Today update delivered by Little Caesars. Time permitting, we'll get you to New York. JB and the crew take you around the league on this first Sunday of the NFL season. 2.32 left. Two timeouts apiece plus the two-minute warning. And a second and 11 coming up here for the Browns. I like that timeout there by Matt Rule. Knowing you have the two-minute as well. You got second and long. Get a nice play on first down. Get the timeout. Try and stop him again here and put him in third and long. For set, little sidearm delivery to get it to Chubb. Had a good defensive play. That's Frankie Louvu. Full time starter for the first time in his career. And what a play by the 50 year linebacker. As now Rule will take his second. That might have been a game-saving tackle there by Frankie Lulu. If he doesn't make that tackle, he probably gets the first down, and who knows if he scores. Touched on some of the, the depth issues that the Panthers had at the linebacker position last season. Here's Chubb. He's inside. If that tackle's not made, look at all that green grass in front of him. What a play by Luvu, third and nine. Brissett looking incomplete. Donovan Peoples-Jones, the intended target. 
And the Carolina Panthers defense about to get it back to Baker. Baker Mayfield going to get the ball back. Down two with the chance to drive and get the improbable victory. The Browns have been in control this game the whole entire game. They've run the ball at will. But a big stop for that Panthers defense. So here's Bajorquez right around his own 30. Good day so far. But this is not what he wanted as it sails through the end zone to give it to Mayfield and Carolina at the 20. Yeah, that one hurts. You, you know, if you if you hit a 40-yard punt, you pin him inside the 10-yard line. Instead, you hit a 56-yard punt and punt it in the end zone. They get the ball all the way out to the 20. And so you sit here, you got a timeout. You have the two-minute warning as well. You can run your offense. You could run the ball. You could check it down to McCaffrey. Everything's open. You got to protect the quarterback first and foremost. We saw Miles Garrett, two consecutive plays, almost ruined this game for the Panthers. So, Jay, how about this? Baker Mayfield, former franchise quarterback for the Cleveland Browns, beginning a new chapter in his career against his old team. Oh boy, he could stick it to his own club right here. They begin at the 20. Mayfield completes. DJ Moore looking for blockers. There's a penalty flag thrown as Moore is tackled shy of the 50. They pick up 26. As we await the call here from Brad Rogers. There is no foul on the play. <laughs> the result of the play is a first down. Last two completions for Baker Mayfield. 75 yards on the touchdown to Anderson and then the 26-yarder to D.J. Moore to set them up where they are here. First and 10 from their own 46. Panthers down to their final timeout. This is McCaffrey, spins his way close to midfield. Tackled by Anthony Walker. Spiro trying to get this ball inside the 35-yard line. The 35-yard line, that'd be a 53-yard field goal. That's about the max for Eddie Pinheiro. Try to get it inside of that if you can. Pinheiro signed just last week after the injury to Zane Gonzalez. Mayfield feeling the duress. McCaffrey breaking free. Down to the 30, At and 15. there's the late flag. It's going to be a horse collar tackle. Unbelievable. 21 yards in the pickup by McCaffrey. And now the call from Rodgers. Personal foul, horse collar tackle, defense number 43. The to the goal. First down, Carolina. John Johnson penalized with a horse collar. Watch 60, Pat Affline, the center, get out there, make the key block there for McCaffrey. And then there is the penalty at the end, grabbing the inside top of the jersey. Textbook horse collar tackle. I hate to see that. So our guys get hurt. But now you're down. Now you're in field goal range to win the game here. You just want to eat up as much of this clock. Cleveland has all three timeouts and a kicker who can make a 70-yard field goal. He's got a huge leg, albeit as a rookie. Everything that these two coaches are thinking about. So much time left on the clock. Buck 27, first and 10 from just inside the 15. Baker! Oh, my goodness. That was almost a disaster. You can hear the gasp in the stadium. But that center quarterback exchange has been a big, big part of the story here. Multiple muffed snaps. Four. Four times there's been a fumble either on shotgun snaps, twice under center. That one, Baker didn't look like he pulled out. It looked like the ball went to the left and did hit his hands. I mean, if you're Carolina, you want to score a touchdown here. You're thinking touchdown. Protect the ball. We have the field goal to take the lead. But there's 124. Cleveland has two timeouts. You want to score six. 
Panthers franchise that struggled through a 5-12 season last year. Five wins each of the last three years, including the last two under Matt Rule. Mayfield takes a snapshot of the defense under center on second and 11. McCaffrey going nowhere. John Johnson among the tacklers. And now Kevin Stefanski will take his second with a buck 19 left. And 20 seconds on the game clock, please. Thank you. You know, Spiro, if you run the ball, you force them to use their last timeout, but it's third and 11. I think you're going to try to get in the end zone here. I think you're going to look, see, tell Baker, hey, if it's not there, run it yourself. You know, stay in bounds, make them use that timeout, but try to dial up a play to find a way to get in the end zone. You know, or you could run a screen to McCaffrey. We certainly have some options with McCaffrey and some of the, the weapons that Ben McAdoo has with this offense. 120 left as they put a second back on the clock third and 11 Mayfield will work from the shotgun here with McCaffrey the lone setback no help over there over Miles Garrett Baker gives to McCaffrey so they play it conservatively Cleveland. the Browns will take their last time out so here comes Eddie Pinheiro, signed just last week after the groin injury, just a devastating injury to Zane Gonzalez. And boy, what a big spot here for Pinheiro. He kicked for the Jets last year. We saw him. He went eight for eight. Tabor, their special teams coach, had him in Chicago, so he knew him. So there was a comfort level. 26 years of age, fourth year in the league. It can start to win the hearts and minds of this fan base if he comes through right here. Good snap, good hold. Pinheiro is good. And he's put Carolina in front. So Baker Mayfield does his job with the offense. And now all eyes, all that pressure on the shoulders of Brissett in Cleveland. Yeah, and with no timeouts, you really can't run the ball now. Now it's on Jacoby Brissett's shoulders. You've got to move this team down. You want to get to at least the 40-yard line to try and give your rookie kicker a chance. And Jacoby's been in this situation. He's led three game-winning drives, two comebacks. But for Cleveland, it's tough because you felt like you were in control this entire game, and all of a sudden, here you are, minute 13 left, and you're down one. You've got to go score to try and win this game. If you've just joined us, this is the first lead of the game for the Panthers. 24-23. Field goal by Pinheiro. And now those conversations starting to heat up on the Cleveland sideline. Remember, he kicked one out of bounds. He had another bad kick on another. But this is a pretty good kick. Through the end zone. So Brissett and company will start at the 25. No timeouts. And 113 remaining. You need about 35 yards to give your strong leg kicker a chance. Trying to get down to the 40-yard line. No timeout, so you're trying to be in a hurry. If you can work the sidelines, excellent. Carolina's going to know that. Try and protect the sidelines. Funnel you to the middle, rally to the ball, make tackles, and try and eat up as much of that clock as possible. Long field goal for Cade York in college. Was a 57-yarder in the fog in Gainesville. You know, that young man has the leg. Will he get a chance? For set and company begin at the 25. Here they come. He's hitting the release. Incomplete. And a penalty flag is thrown. What's the call here? Brian Burns just lit him up. For set was slow getting up. Now, that was Burns' power move. Personal foul. Roughing the passer. Defense, a 15-yard penalty, and an automatic first down. They didn't say the number of who the penalty was on. Brian Burns just goes power. Watch him come in here from the left side of your screen. There he is. He hits him. Now, are they saying he hit him in the head? Is that why they're calling the penalty? 
I didn't see a lot of contact with Jokobi Brissett. Let's see right here. Watch his left arm of Burns. Oh, no, that's that should not have been called. That was actually, I think, the tackles arm as Burns was going through him. Yeah, ironically, the league had said that they would look at not calling those as tightly as they have in the past. Yeah, I disagree with that call. What a controversial call that is potentially here, depending on the outcome. First and 10 after the penalty. 15-yarder, they snap it from the 40. Brissett completes, hunts, and he loses yardage. Clock is running, so you got to quickly get to the line of scrimmage. You can't spike it here because it's second down. You don't want to waste the down, so you got to quickly get lined up, call a play. 50 seconds and clock running. What a play by Marquise Haynes. Second and 12. Brissett, here they come again. Brissett's pass is caught. He threads the needle to Peoples Jones under heavy pressure. Now you get up and you can spike it here. You got 34 seconds. Brissett scurries into the line of scrimmage. They will stop the clock here. 29 seconds left. What a spot for Jacoby Brissett. Well, how about that catch by Donovan Peoples-Jones again? Another contested catch. Every catch he's had has been a tough catch, and he's done an excellent job today. Six catches, 60 yards, and all of them tough. Jacoby Brissett signed in March, one day after the Deshaun Watson blockbuster. Insurance move by the franchise. They knew this would be his spot. Didn't take over the number one job until about the middle of August. As we heard from Aditi earlier, August the 14th. Has had about a month to prepare himself. How does he finish here? Brissett's pass completes. Cooper down to the 40. All right, 20 seconds. It's third down, so you don't necessarily want to spike this. You'd like to try to quickly run a play. And they will indeed spike wow. it. I'm shocked that they spiked it there. Because now it's fourth down. Now you got to kick it right here. Is this going to be intentional grounding because he didn't spike it right away? Jay, I think that's exactly what they're talking about here. Yeah, because he got it and he kind of faked it. There's no foul on the play. The, the player faked the spike and then threw the spike. Mm. Boy, it was close. Well, you have to get this lined up and kick this ball because it's fourth down and the play clock is going to be running. You can't afford to let it run out. You don't have a timeout. You're going to have a 60-yard field goal to try to win the game here. Cade York, the only kicker drafted in the NFL. Now, I saw him go what back. What would be the first signature move of his NFL career? Spiro, I watched him go back to 69 yards of Warren's. He's got enough leg. He was missing them left when he was kicking these long, deep field goals and warm-ups. Cleveland had the worst field goal success percentage last season. York to try to win the game. The kick. Oh, look at this. There's the distance. And Cade York wins it for Cleveland. There's still eight seconds left. What a kick but for the Cade rookie. York. Just incredible. He pounded that ball. Spiro, now you can talk about the ledger crowing. What a bomb of a kick. 58 yards for a rookie kicker in his first game. Good snap, good hold. That was a question mark with Bajorquez is holding. Perfect hold. And Cade York just bombs this ball. That had 10 yards on it easy. Well, I go back, Spiro, to that call on the Burns rush where they called the roughing the quarterback. Questionable call, 15 yards that gave them. That certainly helped out right there at the end when you're looking at a 58-yard field goal. Eight seconds left, and now the Panthers looking for a miracle. Well, yeah, you talk about an NFL debut for a rookie kicker. My goodness. It doesn't get much better, and they'd love to see him pound this ball through the uprights again and not give Carolina a chance at a return.
Cade York, the fourth round kid from LSU. This one through the end zone, so Baker will indeed have a chance. I'm sure there are a lot of Browns fans not happy with taking a kicker in the fourth round during the draft, but they're pretty happy about it now. Well, Baker has hit on one long bomb so far. You have a timeout, so you're just trying to get this ball to the 40-yard line or so, somewhere where you can throw a Hail Mary and try and give yourself a chance at the end. Mayfield connected with Robbie Anderson earlier on a 75-yard touchdown to breathe a life into their cause. Does he have a miracle here late? Up his sleeve for the Panthers. Mayfield goes underneath. Now they're going to try to play the long game. Moore stopped, and it is over here in Charlotte. The Cleveland Browns win a season-opening game on the road for the first time in 28 years.